doing this would have traumatized me like two years ago and now it is still really uncomfortable but I realized that if you lean into feeling uncomfortable then the things that you find uncomfortable will be less uncomfortable in the future. spontaneous flight to Savannah, Georgia to see one of my friends out there and today I am flying there but in the month of December I want to commit to uploading 30 YouTube videos. Today is the day I get on the flight and go see her but I'm not going to have time to sit down and film a business video about how to scale an online business or a content creation video where I'm sitting down so I thought I'd bring you guys with me to the airport and show you how I got over my fear of filming in public. I feel like this video is going to be fun for you guys to watch because I'm going to be filming the process of going to Savannah to see her, but then also I think it's gonna help me with my confidence because filming in public is still something that kind of scares me. It's still uncomfortable to film content in public. I don't know what it is about filming in public that can just get a little bit intimidating, but I figure, figured the best way to get over a fear is to just, just do it. And I figured I would bring you guys with me. That way, if you guys are afraid of filming in public, you can also kind of take this as inspiration and motivation. So I'm just getting ready now and then I'm gonna get picked up and dropped off at the airport, which is really nice. So the eyebrow gel I'm using is actually a product that I designed in my very first business, um, Lilac Beauty. This is an aloe vera brow gel that's organic aloe vera. And this was actually one of the things that got me into entrepreneurship the very first time, which is pretty crazy. I launched an organic cosmetic business and I was making all these organic cosmetics out of my parents' kitchen at home and I launched an Etsy store and it took off and I was mailing these orders across the country and then I realized my love for entrepreneurship but also my love of people and when you're mailing orders all day every day you don't get to see that many people so because of that business I got a job working at a polo club a magazine and a winery to help them with their marketing it's crazy that this product is what allowed me to book a flight spontaneously and pay with that on my business debit card because a couple years ago I never would have expected that because I have sensitive skin that would actually be the thing that helps me become an entrepreneur. So in the past I would complain about the fact that my skin is super sensitive and I'm always having allergic reactions to things like hotel sheets. But now I'm trying to view that as like appreciation when my skin has an allergic reaction because I'm like, you know what, that allergic reaction is what enabled me to get to this place in my life. So it's actually kind of exciting for me to think through it in that perspective instead. I am all about planning for things in advance, but I don't know what it is about packing that I always seem to pack with about 10 minutes to spare. It happens almost every single time. So that's something I gotta put on my vision board to get better at for next year, honestly, just the next trip because packing last minute is something I don't wanna do the rest of my life. I just threw my hair in a bun last night, that way I didn't have to curl it this morning. It looks a little crazy, but with some of your brushing and hair oiling, I think it will look okay to go to the airport. Okay, now that that's done, we are basically ready to go. I just have to clean up some of the mess in my house and do the dishes, finish packing, and then I will see you guys at the airport. So I'm bringing two bags. One, I'm bringing my backpack with some notes. That way I can work on the plane. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get organized on and update. And then I brought this carry-on for my clothes. But what I realized is like, I've never traveled with a carry-on before. I always bring a suitcase. So I think it's gonna be really nice to just hop off the plane and be ready to go and not have to wait for like 25 minutes inside the line. I used to be terrified to record videos in public because I thought that people are looking at you, people are judging you, but in reality, the best thing you can do is just pretend you're on a FaceTime call with a friend and then it honestly doesn't even matter. And what I've begun to realize is, honestly, like no one, everyone is so caught up in their own bubble that nobody even cares what you're doing like this. Doing this would have traumatized me like two years ago and now it is still really uncomfortable but 
I realized that if you lean into feeling uncomfortable, then the things that you find uncomfortable will be less uncomfortable in the future. So I just, I've been putting off filming this for like the last five minutes because it felt scary or I didn't want to do it. And now that I've just decided to not care what other people are thinking and just pull out and record, it actually got way easier. Okay, it definitely got easier. I just had a call with a friend and that helped me like reframe the mindset of, when I was talking on the phone with her fairly loudly, it's like nobody cares. So talking on a phone call is very similar to just taking out your phone and recording a video. So what I just realized is like nobody cares. And also if you're confident enough with it, like nobody's gonna question it. And even if someone does question it, like, so what, you'll never know. It's like they have that thought. They might have the thought of like, wow, you look shy when you're walking without re recording something. People are gonna have so many different thoughts about you that you don't have to worry about that because what is that? Like you, people are constantly, you can't control what other people are thinking about you, but what you can control is how you show up in your day-to-day -day life. So it's just important to worry about like showing up in your day-to-day -day life as the best person that you possibly can. And if people are gonna look at that and question that, that's totally okay because you're never gonna be able to control what other people are thinking. So if you want to record a video or you want to get confident in recording a video when other people are around you, go for it. And if that's something that doesn't interest you or that's not on your vision board, then like, don't do it. Like, it's totally up to you to make that decision. But if you want to do something, like, just go and do it. And what I realized is like, from the beginning of recording, while walking up and down this airport, like, that was terrifying. But now, it's honestly 25% easier. So it's like, imagine if I did this every single time I came to the airport, it's just gonna get easier each and every time. And then pretty soon I'll be the type of person that does have that confidence and is able to record in public. Because honestly, like two or three years ago, I couldn't even walk in a grocery store. Like that would scare me, I had Lyme disease. So it's like, that kind of caused that anxiety. But like now, the idea of walking around an airport, yes, it's still intimidating, it's still scary, but I do it anyway. And by putting myself in those uncomfortable situations and just doing it anyway, it got way easier. Well, I'm on my way to go grab my seat and board the flight. So that's today's video. I hope this inspired you to build your confidence. Even if it just changed your mindset by 1%, that is my goal here. And then I'll be posting another video tomorrow as I post 30 videos in 30 days showing people exactly how to increase their confidence, build their presence on social media. That way you can confidently increase your income. We got something special, baby, you